All of the videos that I make in After Effects are very doable for anyone who has this program. I am not using too advanced filters or effects or presets. So these are my recently sold items on Adobe Store and quite a few items. For example, these circles, these numbers, frame for text, some other videos. They have been made using Saber plugin. And that. Saber plugin is probably one of my favorite tools to use in Adobe After Effects. You can download it for free from Video Copilot. And this is not sponsored at all. This is a free plugin that I use all the time. And also, I sold a video on Getty Images recently and I use Saber plugin here as well. I'm just going to quickly show you roughly how to use it. So first of all, obviously you download it and you install it. Installing is very easy. It installs automatically. And then well, these lines that are recently sold on Getty Images. So I would just draw any lines, for example, and then go to mask. And then at 20th second, I will just move everything. Something like that. Mm. Well, obviously, I would do it more carefully. I would experiment a little bit more. But now, for the sake of recording this video, something like that. So as you can see, this line has moved and to use the Saber plugin, always, always you create a new solid layer and then type Saber here on the right, drop it to that new solid layer, customize and layer masks. And one more thing, the mask from the layer below you just copy and paste it into here. Oh, and then, for example, I go to Glow, Star Glow. And then I just do something crazy like that. And as you can see, it's beginning to look a little bit like these lines, doesn't it? Yeah, so that's it. It didn't take me a long time at all to lay a new text. And let's say I type in hello and increase the font size a little bit. I switch on this um, saber layer and instead of layer mask, go to text layer and just say which text layer it was a hello and decrease the glow intensity. Just to show you like how I've done these numbers. You can find a lot of YouTube videos on how to animate these numbers. Um, and then I just apply Saber effect, let's say fire. So that's our Saber effect, which is very useful and you can make a lot of things uh, using it. You can see this first video is my highest seller so far um, in the last, I think it's four months. They are called Shape Transitions and there are many YouTube videos out there explaining you how to make them in After Effects. I also found that text frames like this or, or this sell quite well. For example, on Adobe Stock I sold a few of these. And also what sells well, I find, is particles backgrounds. Uh, this uh, background I made in Cinema 4D. I am not going to explain to you how to use Cinema 4D. It's a very specialized program. So you either have it and use it, or maybe you might be using some other 3D software like Blender. I found that the easiest way to make particles in After Effects is to import an existing video and apply CC ball action 
to it and then just play with the settings for example I change the displacement so some of the particles come forward some of them stay at the back I change particle size can you see that something really nice is starting to appear which looks nothing like the original video so you can modify your existing videos this way change grid settings maybe a little bit more displacement so that's already pretty nice particle system in After Effects very quickly and then obviously you can play with other effects you can maybe apply glow or star glow anything that you like and you can experiment and this is your particles in After Effects and when it comes to energy backgrounds like this it was recently sold on Getty Images. So the way I made this is I just created fire in Adobe After Effects. Again, there are a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to create fire in Adobe After Effects, or maybe you use another software to create fire. And then I exported as PNG sequence. I created an action in Photoshop, which would take every image with the fire from the sequence and apply a brush to it and obviously I made this video some time ago I cannot remember exactly which settings I used for the brush and then stitched all my images back together into a video that's it. I think I will stop right here. But if you have any questions at all, please write them in the comments below because I read every single comment. And as always, I wish you all the best.